What is up guys? What's going on? It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful day here in South Florida. And uh, today we're going to be going after... Colin, what are we going after today? Jacks. Jacks. Snook. Snook. I don't know. Whatever we can catch. Oh, I thought we was on the... I don't know. We're just going after stuff. Look! Beautiful. Extra beautiful day. Anyways, check it out. Look. I need you guys to do this real quick. This is video... I think this is like... 16, 17, something like that. I don't know which video it is, but we're in the 30 day challenge still. All right, we're grinding it out. And uh, we're just gonna go see what we can catch today. Me, Colin, and his dad are out here on the boat. We're gonna go fish the uh, inlet, right? We're gonna go to the inlet, and then we're gonna hit some little inshore wrecks and stuff like that. And then we might go do some dock stuff for snook. I'm not sure yet. Let's do that. Whatever works. See you guys there. If you guys can see that, I don't know how it's gonna show up on the GoPro. That's all fish and we're directly on top of them right now. So they're here. We just gotta present it, like I said, give it to them like they want it. So we found the juice right here. If you guys can tell, this water is like this really greenish color and this water is this dark blue. There's a ledge right here and it goes from like five or six foot. I mean, it's a straight drop to 40 and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fish stacked right here. So we just got to get this presented to them in a way that they want to eat it. But we're close. The wind, it's really windy today, so it's, its you know, blowing us everywhere. But once we can get this dialed in and figured out, I think we'll be able to get on them. First fish. Colin's hooked up. Oh. Blue strike front. That's a pretty fish. Yes, it is. Wow. Yep, Colin with the first one of the day. What is that again? This is a blue striped grunt. God, it's a pretty fish, man. It's gold and it's got these bluish silver stripes that go down the side. Pretty fish. Let's keep on fishing. Yeah, that's good. Woo. Where'd you cast? Like kind of almost directly in front of you. Keep your line tight, they'll eat it quick. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate it. Okay. You guys have a good time. Thanks. That's a really, where's it at? Right there. That's a really nice boat. All right, so check it out. We just got uh, kicked off. Police called. FWC involved. <laughs> now we were fishing by that boat, and there's apparently signs back there on the other side of the boat that say no fishing within 100 feet of the, uh, what is it? Port. The port? The port. And we were, see it. we were legitimately outside of 100 feet of the port. And, uh, but anyways, the sheriff came up and told us we needed to skedaddle. So we, we did just that. And now we're, we're at another spot deeper. I think we're like 25 feet of water, give or take. And we're going to be trying to catch some, some like lane snapper and stuff before we move to our next spot. So micro with, fishing. yeah, micro fishing, micro jig fishing. But with that being said, let's go ahead and ooh, that's a big wake. <laughs> let's go ahead and move. Actually, no, we're not moving. Let's go ahead and catch some fish. Let's try to catch some fish. Let's do it. Those are an oh! There we go. There we go. What is it, lane? lane snapper. Lane. Baby lane. Baby lane. I've caught some nicer stuff here. I've caught like offshore ports and stuff like jolt heads. Ow. Yep. Another lane snapper. Let's go. That's uh, I think everybody's got a fish now, right? Yeah. All right, now we're done getting skunked. Now we're gonna we're gonna keep fishing for these for a little bit, and then we're gonna move to the bigger ones. Let's let them go. Back to the depths. Yeah. Oh God, that was a good hit. I don't know what that was. There we go. <laughs> Another lane snapper. I love this. This is fun. This is fun. Another lane snapper. This is. Fish so little, they fight pretty hard. Whoop, he's gone. Yeah, they do. They really do. All right, somebody's fixing. Oh, I just said it too. I see it right there. That's a gooder. That's, I said a gooder one. That's a gooder one. It's a gooder one. It's a fatty. This one, a yellow tail. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Tripled up, baby. Tripled up. Yellow tail. See one of 
one of these yet? I think we caught one of those last time I was. Yeah, we did. Here, I'll get a. Here, let me hold it. I'll get a double video thing. Oh, he's like 10 and a half inches. Ooh, that was almost not good. How you hold this thing? Uh, he's real feisty. If you want to try and kick. Two beautiful fish. We got a yellowtail right here and a lane snapper right here, and I'm about to fall off the boat right here. All right, let's get this one back. Look how pretty this fish is. Beautiful fish. Look at this. Yeah, on the ultralight. Oh, what? <laughs> That's actually probably something that looks better. That's a nice lane. A little bigger. Boat flip. Oh. First cast. Oh, oh doubled up. We're doubled. This is my uh, PB lane snapper. Yours is bigger. So, oh. Well, there goes my PB. Oh. That one might be a little better. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun on that, my <laughs> Yeah, that it is. It really is. That looks pretty nice from what I can see. Oh. Dude, Porgy? That's, Porgy. That's good eating. That's good eat. What is that? Porgy. Porgy. I don't even know. There's no size limit on these dudes, and he's actually not yeah, a bad really size. How do you, how do you? Oh, I'm hooked. Oh, I've got to get a cock in it. Everybody's hooked up. You're going to want to keep that one. That's really good meat. Is it? I don't want to. Really get... good. That's probably one of the best eat. I don't want to get videos. finned. Oh, here. Oh, I got, I got one too. Towel. I got towel oh, right okay. there, man. I got him too. Daddy's smoking me. We could do, I'll deal with this in a second. Oh, oh, oh. That's a good fish. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that is a good one. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> look at let's go. We got porgy fish. Let's go. No, there. Is that another one? Yeah. That's another porgy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's That's go. A nice one there, man. Tripled up. This is gonna be a catch and cook now, ladies and gents. All right, porgy. Okay, this is another fish. This not is necessarily. Porgy. Not necessarily a fish off the bucket list, but this is a fish that. <laughs> I, I didn't even know about, but hey, we caught another fish we never caught before, so that's exactly what we're after. In with it. There he goes. <laughs> Look at this roll, guy. <laughs> Dude, that might be something a little it different. Might be something different. <laughs> that's something different. Alright. Dude, oh, nice porgy. porgy. Nice porgy. Here, oh, bring him this way. Bring him this way. You gotta get him in the boat. Nice. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that's awesome. Look at that. I don't know how to hold him, but we're just gonna hold him Here. like this. That'll be fine. <laughs> Man, those colors are yeah. just... What a Can you guys see these colors? Like, look at that. Gorgeous. There you go. All right, that know. one's gonna go home with us too. All right, this is yeah. This is part of the this is part of the catch and cook right here. Man, that that's beautiful. Let me get in the front. Look at this, dude. Those colors are beautiful. This is the biggest, uh, yeah, this is bigger than the other one I caught. Yeah. We got two like that size. One is a jolt head, but we have three grass porgies. Crazy. Talk about them. Yeah, that's, How do you I don't even know. Uh, it was crazy, so I hooked into it, and I, obviously I, I, I was just goofing around. I was like, all right, last cast, because we have caught so many of these lane snappers all day. Probably a hundred of them. I, was, I wasn't even kidding. And back to back cast, so I just dropped it down. And I mean, this dude munched it. So now I'm gonna go uh, take this home to Colin's house, and we're gonna munch it. So right now the weather's. Crap. If I could go out every time and catch big fish, like, no, I'm something is tearing me up. If I could just go out and catch big fish, like, do you think I wouldn't do that? You know, sure. like, you know, I would, I would go out and catch. So I had a guy comment on a video one time. I made a kayak video. I went out and caught a bunch of bass, a bunch of largemouth, but they were all um, like less than two pounds. I mean, a pound, pound and a half, and uh. And the guy was like, do you ever catch big fish? I'm like, bro, listen, if I could go out and catch big fish every cast, don't you think I would do that? Yeah, I guess I didn't think about that. I'm like, yeah, stupid, <laughs> stupid. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good fish. Yeah. We got a runner. Oh, and I can't get off again. All right, what we got here? Oh, it's a jack. No, is this a jack? It's doing the little croaking thing. No, that's um, a tom tape. All right, never caught one of these either. 
Well, this is uh, another, what is this? Tom T. Tom, we'll call him Tom. It is a Tom. Another fish off the, uh, not gonna say a bucket list so fish, in but. Grunt family. Yeah. That's why he was grunting, see his mouth? Oh, wow. Look at this guy's mouth. Look how orange his mouth is. It's crazy, yeah, super orange mouth. Big mouth too, that's, that's, that's crazy. Let's get him back. Got one. How did I hook this fish like this? Look how I hook this fish. How do you do that? <laughs> Ooh, low. That's what he was thinking. Yeah. We're not going after a 40 inch. Oh, look, the bird got him. He, 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 got <laughs> yeah, he got him. He got him. Oh my goodness. I wonder why he was waiting right there. I didn't think about that. Yeah, he was literally waiting for Colin to throw him back. As soon as the fish touched the water, the bird grabbed it. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about he, your... He thought he was going back. <laughs> Sorry about your luck there, pinfish. All right, well, it's probably pretty windy right now. We were just fishing that spot, and uh, some guy and his little kid pulled up. So we left. They anchored down on it. Now we're going to another spot to try to catch some more uh, similar type fish. But what a day, man. What a day. That's like... I don't even know how many different species. That's so cool. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys enjoy me getting out and catching these different type of species because I've found some more spaces or some more spots today that I can actually drop my kayak in at and do this same kind of fishing but from a kayak. Now let me know if you guys like that in the comments. But with uh I know it's windy, so we're about to go through some wake and I'm gonna I'm gonna look, there it is. I'm gonna catch you guys at the next spot. Yeah. Oh that's a good one. Whatever it is. Here, watch your tip because you know he's a little heavy. Blue runner, that's a pretty fish. That's good bait for kudas, there. Yep, that's what we used last time. Quick release. Back he goes. The birds really wanted that fish. <laughs> this is working. Oh, I had one. I might still have him. Yeah. What the hell is that? Listen to this fish. What is that? It's a. Oh, that's a. That's a pig fish. It's like one of the best grouper baits they say. You hook them through the eyeballs. You want to huh? Them? Yeah, let them go. Yeah, throw them to that bird right there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. <laughs> you got him. Hey, You're gonna have to get the hose out. Oh yeah, let's go. Pig fish, another one, another fish. What is that? Like four, five, six, twelve, seventeen species off the bucket list today. So we have caught so many fish today. We, so many of the same kind of fish, the uh, lane snapper. We can't even like keep them off the hook. Oh, there he is. What is that? That's fighting weird. Another lane snapper? That, that was fighting like crazy. Top of the nose hook set. Look at that. You can't get more perfect than that. I've been catching these all day. They're beautiful fish though. Oh, that didn't work. Twenty bucks, no lane snapper. Yeet! <laughs> well, we have caught probably 50 of these today. More. Maybe more. more. Lane snapper. Bull shark comes up and like takes my hand off. What a day. Bunch of different species. Got a sunburn. All right, we made it back to Colin's house. We're fixing to spray off all the reels. Obviously, salt water, you guys gotta take care of your stuff. I mean, why pay for something really nice and then not take care of it, right? So we got to spray all the reels off. And he's got, so he's going to show me, because I've been thinking about getting a Daiwa, a BG uh, size, like a 5,000 size, okay? Because I have a 3,000 size Stratic right now. So we're going to, I'm going to show you guys the 5,000 um, Twin Power SW from Shimano. And then the, the comparison, how, how much bigger the, uh, the Daiwa 5,000 is. Check this out. That's, look at, that's crazy how big that is compared to the, the two size 5,000. Like, look at the difference in size. 
Daiwa BG, Shimano Twin Power. Both really great reels. 29 pounds of drag, 22 pounds of drag. I mean, that's perfect. All right, so you guys know what time it is. Yeah, that's right. It is time for catch the catch and cook. All right, so, well, it's not time for the catch because we already, we already caught. We did the catch part. Now we need to do the, um, the cook part. Well, Colin's going to fillet the fish. You know how long it's been since I've cooked the fish, dude? How long? <laughs> When, I'm, when I say years, I mean years. Colin's gonna flay these fish up, we're gonna cook them. I've never had these, uh, what are they called again? They're the corgis. Porgies. Two kinds. We have Porgy or jo corgi? Porgy. Porgy, like pig, but porgy. We have three grass porgies. Two of them are a little smaller, and then there's one that's a little bit bigger, and then we have a jolt head. And anyone that knows about porgies knows that they're an unregulated species here in South Florida. Yep. Most of them are, I mean, you gotta check because there might be one or two with regulations, but for the most part, most of them do not have any regulations whatsoever. We looked it up right when we called them too, just to make sure. It's better safe than sorry. Fish rules app. Yeah, fish rules app. Better safe than sorry. But he's gonna get these flayed up. I'll show you guys some of that here in a second once we get all this sprayed off, but we gotta get this sprayed off right now. That's that's the main goal. Go. Come on, baby. Weave again. Ah! She oh. caught it. Yes. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> That's yes, so awesome. Baby. All right, now we got the knife sharpened. Colin's gonna show you guys. All right, so we have three grass porgies and one jolt head. The way you can tell if it's a grass porgy is when you catch it, there's a lot of these black bars and spots. You can still see them a little bit. And with all fish, you should really bleed them out because when you go to fillet them, you're not going to have all the blood and all the meat. So first, what I like to do is come down first kind of start to get through the scales and you know just start the fillet like that and I like to come over to the other side boom like that and then you want to angle your knife like this to where it's pressing against the backbone and you just want to Gently run along that back, like that, flip it over, this side same thing, of course you want to get it started, it can be a little difficult sometimes right along this part, alright there, and then you can kind of just run it along that backbone. Back. And then you just want to do gentle slices along that backbone. Man, that thing looks so good already. Oh, trust me, it's only starting. One of the most mild fish you can have. Mm. I even like to fry it. Get underneath this fin. Look at that. The slab. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now you got pin bones down here. They stop right about there. Cut that. Now, like this knife, because it's more flexible, it can easily skin. You want to get your hand up under there. Look at that. Mm. One of the best eating fish right there. Delicious. All right, well, we're going to not show you guys the rest of the three. We got three more to do, but that's the gist of it. Now, the next thing we're going to show you after he does these, we're going to show you what we season them with and how we cook them. It's going to be delicious. Got a couple different spices, seasonings, these fish. Best One step away. Just... Best way is always to just rub the garlic onto the fish. Mm. Ready? Be right back. What do you mean? It's literally falling apart. That's how tender it is. Here we go. 
Go ahead, man. Which one, which one was this? Which Was this the grass or was this the... It's the jolt head, wasn't it? So bright, so white. I don't know. Really good. And this was basic, I remind you. Like very, very little seasoning and garlic. That's it. Mm. And every seasoning gives you a different taste. Yes, it does. That is some good, good fish. You guys are probably like, why is he eating? And... Has a camera and other things. You know, just because I feel like it. That's what I want to be. No, but really, this fish is really good. That's incredible. It don't get no fresher than this. We caught these fish like two hours ago. Two hours ago. I'm getting no fresher than this. This has got the, this is seasoned with the, the island spice. Oh, and it's, oh, it's so fresh. Just wait till you feel this. Feel that fish. It's gonna like melt. That's some of, that's some of the best fish I ever ate. It certainly isn't fishy, is it? Not, a, not at all. This is so, it's such like tender meat too. Like you said, like lobster. Like, yeah, it just falls apart. And it has like that buttery taste yeah. that lobster does. Oh my goodness. That was good, that island spice with the, oh, 10 out of 10. All right, ladies and gents, that's gonna wrap the video up. I know, this is, you know, I haven't even sat down to edit this video, obviously, because I'm still here, but I can go ahead and tell you now, this is gonna be a long video. So if you stayed to this point and you watched the uh, catch portion, the cook portion, and the eat portion, thank you. Thank you for staying. And. Uh, Listen, if you're if you're new here to the channel and you're not subscribed, go ahead and thumb punch that bright red, like the color of this truck, that bright red subscribe button. All right, look, I love you guys. All right, every last one of you. Thank you for all your support. That fish was delicious. And let me know what other kind of catch and cooks you guys want me to do. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.